Hey, this is Lee with the Mindstream Gadget Show. Here we have Cam, who's going to show us the DJI Osmo. Cam? Oh, how you doing? Uh, so this is basically the Osmo, uh, Osmo Mobile Silver, uh, the new color format for the Osmo. Typical, just turning your cell phone, whether it be iPhone or Android or smartphone device, into uh, using the handheld camera stabilizer. So if you're way over here, uh, the double tap will center it. Um, if you have it here, you can turn it into flashlight mode just by double tapping in here. And then if you triple tap the trigger, you can do a selfie mode. Just like the uh, original Osmo, of course, it's your phone, so the phone's just converting into a selfie mode. If it was the original Osmo, the camera would literally turn around. Very nice. What's uh, your favorite feature about this? My favorite feature is the tracking option. So you're just going to go right here. So you want to select an object, and just draw a square around it, and as this person moves, the Osmo is going to track it where you won't even have to touch anything yourself. You know, the Inspire, when we introduced it, immediately became a big favorite for professional filmmakers and video content creators. And they, they loved the maneuverability of it. They loved the iconic image of how the legs lift up so you can get a 360 panorama with the camera. And they, they loved the reliability and, the, and sort of the heft of a larger, more professional drone. So we took the elements that people love and we listened to what people wanted more of. And that led us to what you see here, the Inspire 2. This is, you know, it's the same iconic form factor, but as you can see in back, we have two batteries instead of one. Gives you more power, obviously. Also gives you uh, some redundancy. The, in the highly unlikely event that one battery should go, you'll have enough juice in the other one to get you back safely to Earth, which matters when you can be carrying pretty expensive, pretty powerful cameras. This is, um, moved a lot of the processing power from the camera into the drone itself. You can encode in H.264, H.265, Apple ProRes. You know, professional content creators demand that kind of easily manageable workflow. And that let us take some of the weight out of the camera and give it a lot more maneuverability. You'll notice there's another camera on this drone, this small FPB camera in, in front there. That stream goes to the pilot's command controller. That way, the pilot can focus on hitting marks. Of it's very smart. Controls. Yes. And the camera operator can focus fully on what it takes to line this up, get your exposures right, and get the perfect shot. And based on feedback from professional users, we also have two small obstacle avoidance sensors on the top of the craft. Because uh, we have seen this ourselves in some internal productions. When you get focused on getting the perfect shot, moving around, avoiding obstacles in the scene, you're not always thinking about the situational awareness going up. When you're on a sound stage or in a filming inside a building, that can lead to trouble. The, the X5S camera shoots 5.2K video. So rather than put it on a micro SD card that would be overwhelmed, we designed a new uh, storage disk system that's in there that is a, an SSD, it's, it's a memory stick essentially. The more that we can automate the tech, the more that we can make the tech uh, less of the focus, the more that we can put the focus on what you can do with this, on freeing up your creativity, and making it easier to use these drones for the purpose you intend. Well, thank you so much, Adam. I so really appreciate you your here. time. The Inspire 2, I'm getting myself one. You should get yourself one as well. Lots of new innovation from DJI. Very impressive. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.